Good morning, grade 11 students. I'm Mrs. Jillia. Uh, this morning we are going to do our um, option presentation so you can get some information regarding course selections. We are also going to have some information um, from our bridge teacher, our co-op teachers, as well as our schism teacher. First off, I'm going to introduce Mr. C. Silvestri, who will be speaking to you regarding our bridge program. Good morning, grade 11s. As you know, this year's course selection is extremely important towards your future pathway. The electives you choose should be chosen carefully. If you are a college-bound student and you want to get an upper hand on a college program, Mohawk Bridge might be a great option for you. Students in grade 12 have a wonderful opportunity to earn two college-level credits that would go towards any future program at Mohawk. Students will attend Mohawk College in the afternoon after their morning courses at STM for one semester. Upon successful completion, students will earn two Mohawk College credits. The two credits will also count as electives towards your high school graduation. The two courses are free of charge and HSR transportation will be provided. Mohawk College offers the four following bridge options. General Bridge, Tech Bridge, Media Bridge, and Graphics and Animation Bridge. If you are interested, choose Mohawk Bridge when completing your option sheets because spaces are limited. If you have any questions, see me, Mr. C. Silvestri in Student Services. Good luck and thank you, STM. Good morning, STM. So I'm here this morning uh, to speak to you about cooperative education. Cooperative education is a program that is available for your selection. The co-op program, as many of you are probably aware, is an opportunity for you to explore a career of your choice. It allows you to spend half the day at a work placement, while earning two senior credits and interacting and networking with people in the workforce. The co-op program can open doors to new job opportunities. It allows you to acquire 220 hours at a work placement and it allows you to discover new jobs and careers not only in your field of choice but in related fields. So selecting co-op for grade 12. As you know, co-op is still an option for you in grade 12. We've made a presentation available on your counselor's LMS page so that you may reference it for further information. Students who are working on meeting their post-secondary requirements are usually dedicated to picking up those courses, but you may still have room for co-op. Grade 12 students that are apprenticeship bound, OEAP, or employment bound should take co-op and full day co-op could be available for those students. Co-op is a requirement for all specialist high skills major students. To give you an example of some of the areas where we place our students, very briefly, co-op is offered in a variety of sectors that are related to the specialist high skills major and some of the examples are as follows. If you are pers pursuing the area of arts and culture, we have placements at the art gallery, in our elementary schools, in architects' offices, and graphic arts businesses. If you are business bound, there is accounting and administration, hair, cosmo, cosmetology, retail stores, marketing, uh, bakeries, restaurants, real estate offices, computer stores. Construction, we have students placed on building sites, in building supply stores, doing home renovation, working in cabinetry businesses, working with plumbers and electricians. In the healthcare field, we have students placed at hospitals, physiotherapy clinics, variety of medical clinics, dental offices, pharmacies. And in the area of transportation, we have students working in a number of different auto shops and dealerships. So, 
I know that you're going to be getting much information regarding how you select your courses. If you are choosing co-op, you choose it through your MyPath account. You select co-op the same way that you would select any of your other courses for next year. Keep in mind that co-op is a two credit program, so you would only need to select another six courses to have a full schedule of eight courses. Once co-op is selected, a co-op teacher will contact you to gather information regarding your area of interest in scheduling. Co-op can be scheduled either in semester one or semester two. It could be a morning session or an afternoon session, and that would all be decided upon in conversation with your co-op teacher and your interests and needs. Co-op teachers are available in the Student Services offer, Office to answer any of your questions. Good morning. So I'm uh, Mr. S. Silvestri and I'm going to talk about the Specialist High Skills major for just a few minutes. I'm going to piggyback off the information that Ms. Gravina mentioned to you uh, about co-op and uh, so some of you this is going to be a review from even a grade 10 class that may, may have done a presentation for you and again it's a program that looks at grade 11, 12 courses that you complete as well as other certifications that you would complete before you graduate and uh, again it's just some of the things that you're going to use to help you get ready for your next step after high school there are six different sectors that you uh, have available at STM and they include arts and culture business construction nonprofit transportation and health and wellness which includes three subsectors healthcare fitness and child and family services so if you're interested in any of those fields of study or work once you finish high school and you are considering doing uh, co-op again uh, if you've already completed it that will still count even the grade 11 courses if you've completed them they will still count but if you're going to complete co-op in grade 12 you can still sign up for this program and uh, some of the certification and training I mentioned include CPR first aid WMIS and ice training there's also specific certifications uh, that you would choose from a group that relate to each of the specific sectors that you would be signed up for. If you're interested in taking the, again the co-op or pursuing those careers uh, sign up and it doesn't matter if you're going to college or university apprenticeship or directly into the workplace uh, all those pathways are included and all the course levels are included as well whether it's uh, EOMCU. Okay. And if you're not sure about which courses count for the sector that you've selected, uh, you can ask me, you can check with your guidance counselor as well. And uh, again, if you're going into those areas and you're doing co-op, you're probably gonna be on track. There will be a summary on your second page of your credit counseling summary so you can keep track of courses as you complete them. And if you complete all the requirements by the time you earn your diploma, there would be an SHSM red seal on your OSSD and hopefully we'll be able to acknowledge your accomplishment at our graduation ceremony as well okay so if you need uh, more information you can talk to your guidance counselor you can talk to me uh, you can make an appointment with me online same as you do with your guidance counselors or you can email me or call me uh, at the extension 3512 okay so hopefully uh, you'll have good selections, good planning for you. Thanks very much. Thank you so much to Mr. C. Silvestri, Mr. S. Silvestri, and Ms. Gravina. I'm going to go through our option advice for grade 11 students. Um, you may have already received uh, an option advice package. Uh, teachers, those were placed in your mailbox this morning and uh, that will summarize some of the information that I'm going to go through in the next uh, few minutes. So first off, I'm gonna start with how many courses do I choose? This is uh, depending on the number of credits that you have earned so far. Please check your credit counseling summary on your Path to Success uh, or your My Path app. It is also going to depend on your desired post-secondary destination and the program requirements for the program that you are choosing to apply to. Please keep in mind the following. 
30 credits are required to earn your Ontario Secondary School Diploma. 18 of those uh, courses are compulsory and 12 of those courses are electives. In grade 12, the only two courses that are compulsory are your English and Religion. This slide shows you what you will see on your Pathways account when you are looking at your OSSD eligibility. Please take a look at the top. You see that there are the groups listed as well as the credits earned and the required amount of credits. It's very important that you check that you have earned the majority of your compulsory credits. If you look at the required column, that it says four for English. When you look at the earned, it says two. So this student has earned two out of their four required English credits. You would go about this for all of your compulsory credits. When you get down to the bottom, you'll notice that you have compulsory and electives earned, okay? And that is going to give you a total out of the um, total amount that you need to have. So if we look at this slide, you'll see that in the compulsory section, the student has earned 16 out of the 18 required and four out of the 12 required electives. Please make sure that you take some time and look at the courses that you need. All right, if you are missing some compulsory credits, then they must be included in your grade 12 course selections. If you are unsure, you have second questions, please come see me and I will help you figure it out. We're going to stop for a second and talk about courses. IDC for you courses in particular. These are interdisciplinary courses and St. Thomas More is lucky as we have two interdisciplinary courses that are available to our grade 12 students. Students, you may only earn one credit in an interdisciplinary course. It is either IDC4UB, which is our Business, Sports and Entertainment Marketing course, or IDC4UG, which is our Genocide and Crimes Against Humanities course. The Ministry of Education only allows students to take one interdisciplinary course Please make sure that if you are interested in these courses that you are only choosing one. All right, this question always comes up. May I take a spare in grade 12? Yes, but only if you are on track to graduate. So students who have 24 credits by the end of grade 11, you are entitled to take two spares, one in each semester. If you have 23 credits by the end of grade 11, you can take one spare. Students with 22 credits or less by the end of grade 11 may not take a spare as it is important that you have the required amount of courses in order to, to earn your Ontario Secondary School Diploma. I'm ready to choose my courses, so now what? Well, you're going to go to Path to Success as you've done in previous years. Please log in, put in your email and your password so that you can access the course selections. Please, please, please take some time to research courses. One, choose the department, take a look at the different areas. Two, check the course code and level. You want to make sure that you are taking the appropriate level for your post-secondary destination. Three, read the course description. Make sure that this is a course that interests you or it may be a required course for the program that you are applying to. So take a little bit of time to really read the descriptor and know what the course is about. And four, make sure that you have the prerequisite. In grade 12, many courses do require prerequisites. However, there still are some courses that may not require a prerequisite. Um, or may only require a grade 10 prerequisite. So please take the time to take a look at that information. So what are the required courses for grade 12? Well, as I said before, it is only religion and English. Now, depending on your pathway, if you are university bound, you may take the, Eng uh, sorry, the religion HRE 4M1. So this is a mixed religion course and it is a university qualifier. If you are workplace, apprenticeship, or college bound, you may choose to take the HRE 401, which is the open religion course. For English, we have English for you for university bound students, 
English 4C if you are college bound, and we have English 4E for workplace bound students. Because there are only two required courses, this means that you have the option of choosing up to six electives. Now again, this is up to you and depending on the amount of credits that you have already earned up to this point. So briefly, there are some new courses that are available to students next year. We have a new drama course with a, a film and video focus. There is a grade 10 American Sign Language course as well. Please be aware though, these are not university grade 12 qualifiers. Um, one is a grade 11 and one is a grade 10 course. And then not necessarily new, but are not always available. We have ets for You, which is a university qualifier which is studies in literature, as well as ewc for You, which is a focus on the writing craft. And some of you have reached ahead with your English for You this year. Um, and so if you are considering a humanities pathway, these would be some excellent choices for you. All right, please remember again to review your credit counseling summary. Um, this slide shows you what you would be looking at. Um, so that you are working with the information that pertains to you specifically. All right, a question that I often get, what will universities and colleges see? Well, um, it is full disclosure, which means that the Ministry of Education requires that all grade 11 and 12 results or attempts will appear on your transcript. This includes summer school and night school, and this means that all universities and colleges will see these courses. So courses that you have taken, whether you passed or failed in grade 11 and 12, will be on your transcript. And for this reason, it is very, very important that you make sure that you're prepared to work hard in your courses and to do well in these courses. What is your destination? So by this point, we have talked about your pathway. If you are university bound, you will be looking at taking mostly U or M level courses and focusing on the area of subject interest. If you are college bound, you will be looking at taking M or C, so mixed or college level courses, and again, focusing on that specific subject area of focus. Other destinations, if you are a workplace bound student, please try and get some work experience. Excellent options for this is the co-op or supported co-op that we offer here at STM. And if you are apprenticeship bound, please speak to one of our co-op teachers as co-op experience is extremely important for this and you may be registered as an OYAP student. Again, if you have questions regarding this, please come to the um, Student Services Department as we will speak to you and you can speak to a co-op teacher. University requirements. So it is extremely important that you plan and research universities and their programs. Uh, this past year, universities made much of their information available virtually, um, including um, tours, campus tours, they were done virtually. So the universities have done an excellent job in promoting their universities. Please take some time to take a look um, so that you can become familiar with what they have to offer and not only in terms of programs, but in terms of um, their campus life. University admissions. So you will be focusing on U or M courses. In order to qualify uh, to apply to a university program, you must have a total of six courses at the U or M level. And this will include the prerequisites that are specific to the program that you're interested in applying to. English for U is a prerequisite for every single university program. Please keep that in mind as this course is very important. For more information, please go to ontariouniversitiesinfo.ca as you will able to see specific universities. Some more, some more specific information regarding university bound students. In Ontario, the minimum unit percent, 75% for most university programs. Please keep this in mind as this is the average of your six best grade 12 university qualifying courses including the required courses for the program. Typically, the more competitive a program is, the higher the average will be. Also, some universities may limit the number of upgrades you may take. Again, that is why it is so important to, to check the details at Ontario University's info. 
courses to consider if you plan on applying to university. So here are some specifics based on popular areas of interest. Arts, social science and humanities programs will require English for you, as well as five other university qualifying courses. Some programs, mostly social science programs, may require MDM for you, which is the grade 12 university data course. Business share English for you qualifying math, grade 12 university math. Please make sure that you look at specific requirements as some universities are very stating that they want and calculus for their business programs. Social, sorry, science and engineering. These programs require English for you and two of three grade 12 university qualifying math courses and two of three grade 12 university sciences. Please note that for engineering, most programs will require chemistry and physics. A newer biomedical engineering program requires, not all, but some require that you have all three sciences, which includes the physics, chemistry, and biology. Health science programs. These programs require English for you, a grade 12 university qualifying math, and two of the three grade 12 university qualifying sciences. These admission requirements vary depending on the university, so please be sure to check Ontario University's info for specific info. All right, if you are a college-bound student, course requirements for admission vary depending on your program of, of study. Most colleges will identify specific required courses for their respective programs. Your final grades in these specific courses rather than an overall average are very important for admission to the college programs. Some programs may also require additional things such as a portfolio of drawings, questionnaires, or assessments. Again, please go to ontariocolleges.ca for specific college details. Some specific information. Please note that most Ontario colleges do not give bonus marks for students who are taking university-bound courses. This means that taking a U course is not regarded more favorably. If you are applying to a competitive college program, taking English 4C may be in your best interest. Also, many colleges now offer four-year four degree programs. These degree programs, although they are offered by a college, have the same university requirements, such as six grade 12 U or M courses, including the prerequisite. So please be sure to check specific requirements. Also, if you are applying to an oversubscribed college program, so a very, very popular program, you need to complete the required courses in semester one. When you receive your timetable in June, please check with me so that we can make sure that your courses are scheduled in the appropriate semester. If you are a workplace bound student, please think about the type of work you would like to be doing. Again, consider taking co-op as this is an excellent opportunity to get some hands-on experience. If you are considering an apprenticeship, OEAP is an excellent option for you. Please come to Student Services and speak to the co-op teachers for more information. Your package includes a personal planning chart. You've received one of these yearly and hopefully you've been using it to work with the end in mind. So looking at what your goal is, you need to work backwards to make sure that you have the correct courses. If you have questions, again, please look at the uh, program and the specific requirements as you want to make sure that you have what you need to be eligible to apply. What else do you need? Well, in order to graduate, you must have your 40 hours of Christian community service, successful completion of the OSSLT or completion of the literacy course. This year, EQAO will be field testing the online OSSLT field test from March 2021 until May 2021. The field test will be available to students participating in in-person learning. More details will come in the following weeks regarding this. There is a link at the bottom of this screen as well so that you can go to our board website for virtual Christian service opportunities. We understand that this year it has been difficult to obtain Christian service hours, um, but there are many opportunities. Please go to this website as you will see what kind of virtual opportunities there are for you. 
Schism and bridge, bridge courses, please keep in mind um, what Mr. Silvestri, Mr. C. Silvestri and Mr. S. Silvestri have said. Uh, specialist high skills major, we have the, the different areas of focus. Please remember that there is a co-op requirement. If you have questions regarding bridge courses, you can see Mr. Silvestri regarding the general bridge and Mr. Marcelli for the media engineering and graphics animation bridge programs. Registration day. So that time is upon us. Wednesday, February 24th. Uh, if you are a co Thursday, February learner and Thursday, February 25th, if you be face to face learner. Bring your MyPath option sheet with well, please make sure um, as well, please make sure that you have made your $45 activity fee payment through School Cash Online. If you are a remote learner, uh, please ensure that you have chosen your courses by the 25th and that you as well have paid your activity fee through School Cash Online. As Mr. Botso said, uh, once we see that, we will know that you have registered. You do not need to drop off anything at the school. Questions. If you have questions, please, please book an appointment using the STM guidance bookings icon found on my site. There's the picture of what the icon looks like. It's very easy. If you are a remote learner, you can still book an appointment with me and I will call you so that we can have um, an appointment over the phone. Okay. And this is um, the end of my presentation. Thank you so much for your attention. I know that many of you still have questions please come see me in guidance. I'm happy to speak to you. As I said, if you are a remote learner, please book an appointment and I will call you at the scheduled time so that we too can have a discussion. I wish you all the best. I know that this is an exciting year for you, um, but please reach out as I am very happy to answer questions for you. Take care.